Hey everyone, Technoment here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset and erase everything on your iPhone 16 Pro. So let's get started. Now, first thing you want to do before you consider it is backing up your iPhone through either iCloud or iTunes so that once you do that, if you need to get your data back, you'll have it. Or even better, if you want to move everything over to a new phone before doing this. Because once you do this, you cannot recover the data. This is something you're gonna do if you're trading in, selling, or giving away your iPhone. So let's get started. So to begin the factory reset process, you're gonna go into your settings. Um, and then as I mentioned, if you wanna do a backup, you can click on your Apple ID and then set up, and then click on iCloud to back it up. But if you're ready to factory reset, you're gonna go into your settings, go to general, and then scroll all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on that. And right here from that option, you'll get this menu and you want to click on one that says erase all content and settings. And if you click on it, it's going to tell you what's going to get erased. Basically all the downloaded apps and all of your data, like photos, videos, music, uh, documents, anything you had, everything will get completely wiped out back to factories resetting. It's going to also remove your iCloud account. If you're signed in, you need to enter your Apple ID password to remove the account. And finally, after that, I will just go ahead and do a erase as you can see here, it's going to erase all the media content and settings and this cannot be undone so that's why i mentioned back up your phone or transfer everything over before you do consider erasing it and then you click on erase and it will go ahead and start the process to erase the iphone generally this takes only a couple minutes during this process make sure that your phone does have charge i recommend doing this with at least 50 percent or more charge if not connected to a charger while you are factory resetting it because you do not want the phone to die during that process which will not complete you know you're going to see the apple logo again appear a few times with the loading bar flashing a few times again that's all normal just let it do its thing we're going to wait till it shows the hello animation screen which initially you see whenever you first set up an iPhone. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like. You can skip forward if you don't wanna see this in real time, but I'm gonna keep it rolling just so you can see it in real time without editing this out. So you can see how long this process takes. Now, if you have a lot of data, like photos, videos, it'll take a little bit longer. If you have, if you don't have much, it'll be quicker. But again, this process shouldn't take too long. So as you can see here, we're going in and doing this process. Now, if you need to do a factory reset where you don't know your iPhone's password or passcode, that's a different video we cover. You want to check that out. And if you haven't uh, subscribed or liked our video, do please consider doing that for tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. So here I'm waiting for the logo with the loading bar going on, which is a good indicator the phone is going through that process. And you might see it sometimes, this thing just seems like it's frozen or stuck, but it's not, it's just doing it. Sometimes it'll look like it's not going and all of a sudden it'll complete. So you just have to be a little patient with it. So we should see this finish any moment now, and it is. And this is the hello screen, as I mentioned, whenever you uh, successfully do a factory reset. And it's gonna, when you swipe up, show you to select a language. That means all of your data has been reset back to factory setting. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful. So please do consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.